Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will discuss about the scrap management in Odoo inventory. Scrap management in Odoo inventory is a feature that allows you to efficiently track and manage products that no longer useful due to damage or expirations or any other reasons. So by designating specific locations as scrap location, you can easily move unwanted products to these areas and record them as a scrap. So let's see how can we just configure the scrap locations in Odoo. So let's dive into the inventory module. From there, we just need to enable the feature storage locations. So this would allow you to manage the locations of your warehouses. So as you just drag down under the configuration settings, you can find the feature. So this would always create a designated uh, locations within your warehouse to store the scrapped items. So here you can see we have to enable the feature. So once everything is set, you can save the changes that you have made in the configuration settings. So as you just enable this feature, you can manage the locations under the configuration menu. Now let's move on to the configuration and choose locations. So here you would be able to find all the locations that are currently available. I'm going to create a new location to manage my scraps. So here you can provide the name of the scrap location. I'm going to set it as scrap itself. And afterwards here you have to choose a parent location. I would like to choose a parent location over here. Uh, so as you just search for more here, you would be able to find all the locations that are available. So here we're going to choose WH stock, that is warehouse stock as the pattern location. As we are just managing with the scrap, we know it will be an inventory rows. So we can just uh, choose location type as inventory rows and we are just going to set this location as a scrap location. To set up or set up lo particular location as scrap location, ensure that you have enabled this field. So all the scrapped items can be viewed under the products and under the current stock. Now here you can uh, see how to scrap an item. So before that I'm going to consider an item over here. So here you would be able to find the item which is um, uh, acoustic block screen. So you can see it has got 16 quantities over here. And we just need to designate a winter. So we have properly designated a winter. Uh, we are just designated a winter. Um, this is for the purpose that sometimes we um, may scrap the items. So by scrapping the uh, items or at the time of scrapping the item, we just need to replenish the quantity. So in order to do so, we have to give the vendor over here. And here you can see that there are two vendors, Wood Corner and Ready Mat. So in this case, the priority would be going for a uh, Wood Corner. And here we also just need to set the proper route. So I'm going to uh, set the route as buy. So if we just go with the triggering uh, of, uh, I mean, replenishment over there, um, a, a purchase order would be automatically, automatically triggered over there. So now once everything is set, let's move on to the operations and choose scrap over here. Now the next step is that we have to create a new scrap order. So, in order to create the new scrap order, choose new button where you can just fill out the details of the uh, product. So, the product is Equestic Block Screen. So, I would like to choose Equestic Block Screen white over here. And the quantity is 1 and we just need to replenish the item. Here, you can provide the uh, reasons. So, you can just give um, multiple reasons over here. It's damaged uh, as it's old. You can just provide the other reason as old and old. Now here you can see the uh, locations that is the source location is WH stock and uh, you can also find the uh, other location. So I'm going to choose WH stock uh, scrap as the other location. So if we have any other source document, we can also attach it over here. That is, we can also provide the document reference number over here. Now as you just click on validate button here, you can see that one item is just scrapped and you would be able to see all the product moves over here. So it shows the quantity that is scrapped from which location to which location. All can be viewed over here. And uh, as we are just going with uh, the replenishment quantity here, you can just move on to the purchase module. So once a product is just scrapped here, you can see that the other uh, order is created in order to replenish the item in this stock. So you can just confirm uh, the order over here and let's receive the product into this stock and we will be 
uh, validating so that the item can be uh, kept in our warehouse. So that's how we just deal with these scrap orders in Odoo 18 inventory module. And that's all for today. For today. Thank you for watching the video.